Welcome back to Scatterbrain Entertainment, where we react to everything from the wild and crazy to the funny and entertaining. Today, we're going to do an animal video. What we got lined up is animals that can defeat crocodiles, alligators, and caimans. Really interesting to see this, because there's not that many animals that can deal with these kind of predators. So, go ahead and jump right into it. See what they got lined up for it. Oh, lions. There are many animals that can defeat crocodiles, or there are some that can give a good fight, and even at times defeat them. Have you ever seen an electric eel encounter a crocodile? If you want to see how rough it can be sometimes for these huge reptiles, keep watching as we look at animals that can defeat crocodiles, alligators, and caimans. Caimans, okay. Right, Number 15. Snakes. Pythons can subdue enormous prey by encircling it with their muscular bodies and suffocating it. The task of eliminating a huge aggressive predator like a freshwater crocodile is just half completed. The other half is eating it, and that is what this albino python is trying to do. He looks to be doing an excellent job, Not because trying, he almost swallowed the him. entire crocodile. In a battle to the death between two Amazonian reptiles, they have come to a Eesh. standstill and are now fighting for their lives. Who will come out on top? Locals got a good look at it. Because one man had an old digital camera with him, he was able to capture this one-of-a-kind experience. This python <laughs> is eating this alligator alive. You can see the alligator trying to escape, but it looks yep. like it is not going to happen. This Jeez. is one big, Giant powerful snake. snake, but it is not an easy kill because the alligator almost gets out of the hole and out of the python's mouth. After a five-hour lengthy battle, a snake fought, wrestled, and then devoured a crocodile. In Queensland, the Australia, snakes, the incident they, was caught on camera. They'll be in front of a, a shocked while. crowd of onlookers, no way the snake, down. which is thought to be around 10 feet long, constricts and then devours the large, fearsome crocodile. 10 feet long. Number Same. 14. Otter versus Cayman. That's why I'm messing with snakes, man. Otters can be some of the nastiest creatures on the planet. They may appear cute, but they are no strangers to heinous acts such as capturing newborn otters and keeping them for ransom in exchange for food. But hey, <laughs> they must eat, what? don't they? Some gates are better left unopened. Otters are carnivores. Who so we got like gangster otters out there shaking other otters down? Crazy. Wild though, man. Require a quarter of their body weight in food every day. <clears throat> Oddly enough, otters are often the apex predators or close to the top. These otters are looking for a caiman and they dive underwater to get a better look before disappearing in the foliage. It appears they have made a kill, but it's impossible to see exactly what has happened. A caiman swims in the water when two otters pop their heads out of the water. There is no conflict as the caiman continues moving forward. The massive crocodile in this footage doesn't seem to bother these otters in the least. No matter how large their opponent is, they will charge and attack. When attacked by larger predators like crocodiles, otters are known to band together and collaborate, as you can see in the following clips. Jumping him. Two otters are responsible for protecting and training six pups in the ways of the forest. When a caiman approaches the family in search of a meal, this otter father has a lot on his plate. The two otters waste little time in encircling the caiman and striking first, before the caiman can do any damage. The cubs become panicked and accidentally follow their parents into the fight, which is not good. Nope. The parents must now continue to fight the caiman while also worrying about the puppy's safety. The adult otters strengthen their attack and prevent the caiman from fleeing. But the damage has been done, and although the caiman has perished at the hands of the otters, two of the pups have been killed in the process. Hmm. Number 13. Buffalo. That was rough. Bulls have been known to be... That was rough. Only thing we do know. Otters are the thugs. <laughs> the thugs out there. You run up on them. They'll be like, the homies jump out and everything. <laughs> Pray for crocodile. So when his friend was in trouble, a second bull intervened and launched the reptile out of harm's way. The crocodiles appeared to be severely injured despite being gored to death. Despite mm. escaping the clutches of a crocodile, this buffalo loses one of its legs to the reptile. Ooh. The rest of the herd examines the injured buffalo as he can barely stand. Number 12. Baboons. There are baboons. several examples in this video that show how baboons, baboons can take down even the largest of crocodiles. Some of the baboons crazy. are braver than others, and once they jump over the crocodile, the rest of the troop follows suit. As soon as the baby is snatched, 
The mother comes to the rescue and snatches it back from the crocodile herself. Damage has already been done, and the baby baboon is dead. Yep. Despite mom's efforts, it was not enough to save her offspring from this nasty attack. A mugger crocodile bit into the arm of a gray langur while it was drinking water. The monkey fought for over an hour to save his own life. At some point, the monkey was able to free its arm from the assailant's teeth. During the fight, the monkey fractured its arm, which could be fatal in the wild. Number 11. Elephant. A crocodile emerges from the water and snatches an elephant's trunk from its tusks, Damn. shocking him to his core. Despite the crocodile trying to keep it at bay, the elephant shakes its head to free itself. At some point, it manages to break free. Yeah. As soon as it realizes that, that the that enormous creature around. is about to walk on top of it and crush it, the crocodile lets go. Adult <laughs> elephants do nothing when a crocodile really attacks a young like calf that. among uh -huh. a family of elephants. The crocodile had no choice but to ruin this calf's joyous occasion. My only question is whether the crocodile is aware of the size of the enormous elephants it's about to attack, and the damage they can do if they step on it. Real. Elephants are usually unfazed by water, as evidenced by these clips. But when crocodiles manage to snatch their trunks, they must fight to free themselves, which they almost always succeed in doing. Number 10. Horseshoe crab. Almost always? As a crocodile, why are you even trying? If almost always they snatch you off, they catch you on land, they stomp you out. I mean, I understand being hungry, but I mean, pick a better opponent. Crab. I'm not sure if crocodiles encounter many horseshoe crabs in their lifetime, but the horseshoe crab in our thumbnail is no cakewalk for this crocodile. <laughs> of course, the crocodile yeah, will end up crushing stabbing. the crab. But with that long tail sin on the crab, he must be careful, right? Wrong? Although it is pointed and long, it is not venomous or used for stinging. To avoid being knocked over, horseshoe crabs use their tails to flip themselves over. You can see how this man is putting his hand on this horseshoe crab's underbelly, and the crab doesn't hurt him at all. All it does is try to hold on to the hand. They are inoffensive creatures. The man throws the crab back into the water where it belongs. When you go to the beach on the Atlantic coast, you will see many horseshoe crabs washed up on shore, just like this one. I remember when I was a kid going to Wildwood every summer. I would see so many of these crabs, and they terrified us. Little did we know, they weren't dangerous. This crocodile finds a I mean, crunchy horseshoe crab and takes advantage of it as it snatches, crushes, and gobbles it up in no time. Number 9. Hippos. Oh yeah. In this video, you can see crocodiles being chased by hippos. <laughs> hippos don't seem to be a favorite prey item for crocodiles. There is a crocodile lurking around there somewhere, but this hippo can't find it yet. For He's the sake of a reptile, I hope he doesn't. Because if he does, he could be doomed. Crocodiles are not scared of many animals, but they particularly like being confronted at hippos. But this crocodile is doing everything in its power just in case. It appears that the hippo is simply following the reptile and not attempting to attack it. The hippo appears to be smelling the Wait, crocodile's tail, but doing nothing more. <laughs> and the same thing happens on land after both animals get out of the water. Number 8. What? Al- Why does the hippo keep on bunking that one crocodile? He's not even attacking him, he just won't leave him alone. He's getting bullied. <laughs> That's so wrong. Alligators. You can hear the alligator's leg snap and break when the other reptile bites it during this ferocious fight. However, alligators are known for their tenacity, so he'll just suck it up and get on with his business. Crocodiles are engaged in a fight when they suddenly break off and swim away into deeper water. Is this a game of tag where the winner gets to eat his or her opponents? As a large alligator community watches, this larger alligator grabs a smaller alligator and tries to crush it. This event must be a fundraiser for alligators or some other annual reptilian events, but it isn't exactly clear to me. In the grass, two enormous alligators are fighting, with one biting the leg and tail of the opponents. As the fight goes on, the alligator's leg- Hey, you know what's better than a $5,000 PC? What? A $5,000 PC that costs zero dollars. It's time- Leg is covered in blood stains that are visible to the naked eye. Number seven, lions. All right. These felines tell this reptile to go back where it came from. It's the crocodile's job to tell the lion to keep his mouth shut because he's the boss of the water. For a moment, the two get into a heated argument, exchanging insults and threats, but they soon settle down and stop arguing. 
lions and crocodiles fight over food most of the time. The lions and crocodile in this video don't appear to be competing for food. So when they come across each other, it's usually because they're looking for a meal and meet by fluke. Because of this, the crocodile begs the lion to leave him alone, saying he's in a hurry to get to the dentist. After realizing that the crocodile has a serious dental problem, the male lion stops harassing him and wishes him good luck. <laughs> Number <narration>? six, <laughs> wildebeest. While crossing the river in the Maasai Mara, an adult wildebeest was snatched oh, by a large man. Nile crocodile. The wildebeest fought back for over 40 minutes, refusing to allow the crocodile to drag it into the deep waters of the river. The wildebeest finally managed to free itself from the crocodile's jaws and continue its journey towards freedom. Crocodiles have captured this wildebeest and it's scrambling to get away. Because the crocodile is submerged, you can only see its head emerge from the water from time to time. Wildebeest have extremely fragile hind legs, so even if they manage to escape, they may be better off dying in the mouths of crocodiles. To my surprise, after a 30 minute brawl, the wildebeest emerges unscathed from the water. To keep this wildebeest from leaving the water, this much. crocodile is holding onto its tail, but it isn't enough to keep the wildebeest submerged. This I reptile is grabbing hold off. of this wildebeest's leg as it struggles to get back to land and away from him. A broken leg may be the end of the wildebeest, but it manages to fight its way out of the attack and escape nonetheless. Uh, Number yeah, 5. Tigers Tigers will nearly always kill crocodiles while they are on land. Tigers have killed crocodiles in every reported instance of them fighting on land. Damn. If a tiger comes across a crocodile in the water, it will try to no jump choice. behind the no crocodile's chance. back and bite it behind its neck just like you in this video, even though this attack is on land. It is obvious the crocodile doesn't have much of a chance defending itself when the tiger is on its back. This tiger comes looking for its meal. A bunch of crocs stole the tiger's meal when it wasn't looking. And now, the tiger is coming back for it and it's really not happy by the looks of it. I guess that is normal, and I bet you would feel the same if it happened to you. As it quietly walks across the marshes, growling and hissing, it searches for its kill. It finally finds something. What could it be? As it snatches it and begins walking out of the water, the four legs of the dead animal pop out of the water, and it looks like it is some sort of ungulate carcass. With its incredible strength and stamina, the tiger pulls the heavy carcass to shore without the interference of any crocodile. I guess the crocs <laughs> were out shopping. Number nah, four, they're like, yeah, we'll honey mess badger. With that tiger. Its skin is not only robust, but it is also loose enough for a honey badger to turn around and bite its attacker. When it comes to biting, the honey badger can withstand the bites of some extremely harmful animals. They eat scorpions and snakes and have an extremely high venom resistance. But what happens when a honey badger faces a crocodile? As clickbait as it sounds, you won't be disappointed by the results of your click. Wildlife watchers were shocked to see a honey badger dragging a baby crocodile away. Even other members of its own species seem to be impressed by this honey badger's accomplishments. <laughs> this badger seems to be taking the game to the crocodile, and the crocodile wants to hide. That is surprising, but then again, the badger is nuts. In the end, the badger left a few bite marks on the crocodile, but ended up leaving because it got bored. Number 3. Jaguar <laughs> going around beating them A fully mature jaguar fun. may capture any crocodilian, regardless of species such as Nile or Orinoco croc, or any other caiman, including the black caiman, if their head fits in its mouth and it can crush their skull with a single lethal bite. One bite from a jaguar can be enough to snatch a meal. Check out this jaguar slaying a caiman in the Pantanal of Brazil. Dang, he's this is a perfect illustration of how the big cat uses stealth to hunt and how explosive it is in the moments of predation. This jaguar seems like it's fully grown and is just carries its crocodile out of the water as it was a stuffed animal. Jeez, this jaguar is so powerful and massive, and let us not forget it attacked the crocodile in its territory, which was a big disadvantage for the jaguar. Of course, it was an ambush and the crocodile was not expecting it, but the odds were still high that the jaguar would not succeed because everything took place in the water. This jaguar say he jumped in in the freaking gator's territory. He's like, nah, I'm so hungry. I'm coming to your house and get you. Snatch him out that water. Crazy. Uses stealth once again to sneak up on a caiman, but when it goes for the kill, it loses track of the caiman and seems to have lost it. He was like, I hope for the nope. big cat's sake, I'm the caiman here. is not looking at its legs to bite them. The feline looks puzzled and distraught because the caiman has disappeared. Number two. Sawfish. <laughs> that came was like, I'm Crocodile's powerful jaws will crush a sawfish's ragged snout, even though it looks menacing. 
there is evidence that freshwater crocodiles attempt to catch and eat sawfish, but are unsuccessful because of their prey's size, senses, and defenses. Nevertheless, you could bet your money on the crocodile if it were to hunt a sawfish. Check out the sawfish in this video. The snout is long and filled with pointy spikes, so when a crocodile bites this, it's easy to see that can it injure itself. But that doesn't mean it can't kill the sawfish. Look at how the sawfish chops up its prey to eat. It's quite fascinating to watch. The sawfish is the true butcher of the oceans. For small fish, Dang, the razor sharp right snout is deadly. This kid is amazed by these sawfish seen swimming in this sword. aquarium. Not just they are scary fish to look at, and for a young kid, <laughs> it must be quite impressionable to see one of these specimens up so close. Number 1. Electric Eel One of South America's apex predators uses what could be the strangest hunting tactic of all. This six-foot animal produces a killing shock of electricity. It flushes out its prey and delivers its death blow of 500 volts, enough to stun an adult human. The electric eel is a fish, not an eel. Their long slender bodies give them the appearance of an eel, yet they are the only ones who can deliver a high voltage jolt of electricity. They are all top predators who have little to fear in their natural environments. Electric eels get their name from the fact that they deliver an electric shock of up to 860 volts, depending on the species. Watch this crocodile approach this electric Damn. eel and get the shock of its life. It is stunned and realizes it is in trouble and immediately tries to get away. The eel only defended itself, so once the crocodile got the message, the eel did not pursue it. These were all great, but I was shocked, no pun intended, when I saw the electric eel in action with the crocodile. Which one was your favorite? Well, that's our look at animals that can defeat crocodiles, alligators, and caimans. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Oh man, that was funny. That's some crazy ones. Oh, but <laughs> elephants, man, I don't even know why the el the elephant one was the one that puzzled me. Why would you even go after that thing knowing he could just crush you like that? I guess when you're hungry, you go. Go. Try it. See if it works. But all right, y'all. That's it for this video. Go ahead and join us for the next one. See you guys next time for the next reaction. Be sure to like this video, comment. Let me know what other videos you would like me to react to. I love watching all kinds of stuff. And then be sure to share this to everybody you know. All right. So till next time, take care of yourselves and I'm out of here.